So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. Simplify questions are typically one to three lines long and will contain either an equation or like what we have here, an expression. The simplest way to go about this, or one of the simplest ways to go about this, is to simplify each portion here. So I'm looking at this x squared plus 11 to the second power as separate from this x minus five times x plus five. So for instance, if I wanted to square this, I could just rewrite this twice, and then I can FOIL by taking the first term by the first term here, which gives me x to the fourth, and then the outer term by the outer term there, which gives me 11x squared, and then multiply the two inner terms there, which gives me another 11x squared, and then multiply the two last terms, right? That's FOIL, F-O, first, outer, inner, last. 11 times 11 is 121. Simplifying that, I can combine these like terms here and get x to the fourth plus 21x squared plus 121. So that takes care of this. Now let's move over to here. I have x minus five times x plus five. We can do the exact same process. First times first, x times x is x squared. Outer times outer, x times five is a positive five x. Inner times inner, negative five times x is a negative five x. And last time last, negative five times positive five is a negative 25. Again, combining like terms here actually crosses these terms out because 5x minus 5x is gone. And what we're left with is an x squared minus 25. Now for the combination. I'm going to just circle things um, that I think are like terms. So x to the fourth power does not have a like term, so it will come down here by itself. I have a positive 21x squared plus an x squared, right? Another positive x squared there. So that's a positive 22 x squared, and then I have a positive 121 minus 25, which is positive 96. Therefore, choice B is the correct answer. Now, that was a lot of math. It's not a, it's not difficult math. It's not complicated math. But some people don't like to do FOIL, and I understand that. And just I like to show multiple ways to solve questions. So let's just show you a brand new way or an additional way. This process does not require simplification. Instead, it utilizes our understanding of what to do when we see variables in the question and we see variables in the answer choices, right? Whenever we see that, most, you know, nine out of 10 times, it means we can use a strategy called plug in your own number, P-I-Y-O-N. I like to use two for my number. So I'm going to say x equals two. Now, if x equals two, that means I can rewrite my original um, expression as two squared plus 11 squared plus two minus five times two plus five. Okay. So I'm just plugging in my own number here. Now I'm going to simplify that. So two squared is four, four plus 11 is 15. So I have 15 squared plus two minus five is negative three and two plus five is seven. And of course, we could just put this whole thing in the calculator and it'll spit out an answer for you as well. I'm just showing you step by step. And then I have negative three times seven is negative 21, so it becomes 15 squared minus 21. 15 squared is 225. 225 minus 21 is equal to 204. Okay, so that would be our answer. But then how do we figure out which answer choice is correct? Well, the next thing you do when you're using this plug in your own number strategy is to match, right? And so by that, I mean, we wanna plug in the exact same number that we'd already used for our question, which is two, and we can plug it into each case where there's an X. So I put a two here, I put a two there, put in parentheses, and I wanna see, does that in fact equal 204? If you do the math, you will see that it does not. But here, right, two to the fourth is 16, here, 2 squared is 4 times 23 is 92, and we add 96. Here, you will see that it does, in fact, equal 204. And that's why, through this other method, right, B, we've, you know, confirmed using a completely different method, B is the correct answer.